I'm going to tell you about Promescent. Oh. Yeah. So I, some men, your penis size is totally fine. But sometimes you want to last a little bit longer in bed. Maybe you last a minute and you want to last two. Maybe you last five minutes and you want to last ten. And also one in three men actually suffers from premature ejaculation, whereas they can't control their ejaculation. So Promescent is a quickly absorbing delay spray. It allows you to have the sex that you want. So you don't have to focus on baseball or whatever it is that you think about. And then you're not in the moment and then you're not enjoying sex. But Promescent closes the arousal gap between men and women. And so women take longer to orgasm. If you haven't figured that out yet, we just do. So you'll last longer and everyone goes home happy. So try Promescent, P-R-O-M-E-S-C-E-N-T dot com. You got a boyfriend? Because uh, my man E here, he just got his heart broken. He thinks you're kind of cute. A girl's got to have her standards. Oh, my. The women know about shrinkage. Isn't it common knowledge? What do you mean? Like laundry? It shrinks? Can we not talk about sex so much? Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. I feel so good. Being bad feels pretty good. But you know, Emily's not the kind of girl you just play with. You're listening to Sex with Emily. We're talking about sex relationships and everything in between. For more information, go to sexwithemily.com where you can get... Our polls, our podcasts, our pictures. I like the alliteration. All these things going on on our website. So thanks, everyone. And I'm here with the wonderful White Menace. Hi, how you doing? I'm great. How are you? You forgot to tell people there's a daily blog. There's, there's, there's new, a daily blog. Every single day, you every can go day. to sexatemily.com and get new information. True. New information. It's like your daily sex newspaper. Yes, it is. It is, it is. Today's show, we will be talking about a few things. We've Sex. St- I'm just kidding. Oh my god! Totally. Sorry. Didn't there are um, <laughs> our sex bucket list. You know what a sex bucket list is? Yeah. The things that you want to try before you do, what? Can I just give away one for a man? Yeah. A threesome. Boom. Top right. of the list. Number one. Okay. It's in man. there. It's actually a book called The Naughty Bucket List, and we're going off that. We're going to talk about what's on your bucket list and how you can achieve it. And then we've got your emails, and we've got sex in the news, and we've got a lot going on. That's our day so far. <sighs> man what it's uh already a long day it's already i yeah. agree how about you oh I my mean, god came i really at did. one o'clock i'm sorry i'm we late the show well we were right we were having some issues with our hole puncher so stop the show for a hole puncher well we had to get everything punched and put it in my binder and then we just had a lot going on so um so but i'm did, here what did you do yesterday yesterday i um I went, I worked pretty late. I was at the office till like nine and then I went to meet some, oh, cause it was Halloween. Yeah. So then I went to um, meet some friends in Potrero Hill, which is a really cool neighborhood in San Francisco. And there was tons of people outside, like old kids, big kids, everyone in their costumes. And then we ate some sushi and watched all the people and it was really fun. Yeah. But I did not dress up mm. and I feel kind of sad about it because I missed it. I didn't dress up either. You I went didn't? to that party that I was supposed to go to for work. I went for a half hour. Oh my god, that's record timing <laughs> yeah, for you. Why you, know, you just home. you were done? I was just stunned. Were you tinky I winky? I wasn't tinky winky. I was you weren't no even costume. tinky winky. I walked in, said what's up to a couple of people, took a bunch of photos, put them up on my blog, went home, went to sleep. I was in bed by eight o'clock. I feel bad because Halloween is like this national holiday in San. Fr- it's like mm-hmm. the holiday in San well, Francisco. We've been celebrating it all week. I know. But I was in New York, so I missed all the main celebrations. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I have to say that next year I'm going to bring it hard. This year I mm-hmm. sort of failed on, on Halloween. But I did get to check out everyone. Everyone, I mean, this city goes off. Like mm-hmm. adults and kids were just like mm-hmm. roaming the streets and it was fun. I did uh, book, a, book a trip to Vegas though. For, why? For Thanksgiving. Oh, that sounds nice and homey. <laughs> it why, is. Why? Because I, I have this hotel – uh, these hotel rooms that I need to use up before the end of the year. Who are you going with? And uh, no one. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut. Who are you going with? Which girl? Uh, this, uh, this is a friend of mine. Don't even worry about it. A friend that <laughs> – we mean worry. Are you going to bone her there? You don't bring a friend to Vegas. Yeah, you don't. You don't. I'll give you more details when – When it happens? Out. Yeah. When okay. it happens. But I'm going to Vegas for Thanksgiving because – For how long? I like to give an excuse for how long. Just – Two days. Oh, okay. I, uh, I, you know me because my family's divorced. I know. They're all it's... over. They're separated all over the country. I'm like, look, I've been telling them for years. 
let's go to like Las Vegas right. and meet up right. and have a good time. They don't want to do it. You know what? Stay in freaking Idaho and Washington in the freaking snow. So what the hell is happening in Vegas over Thanksgiving now? What's, it's, I it's don't know. Isn't everyone eating turkey? Seven days a week. You're right. You're yeah. right. It's like Disneyland. You know what I had last year for for uh, my Thanksgiving dinner? What? Sushi. Oh. And it was delicious. Yeah, you're right. Thanksgiving's overrated. But for me, um, for a lot of people, it's my it's my family's big mm-hmm. holiday. We all go home for Thanksgiving. So yeah. I'm going home to Michigan. Oh. And no, but I do enjoy the big – Turkey big family sit down, but yeah. it's just my family's just so spread out and they're not. I know. It's hard. It's hard. Yeah. I got the divorce thing too, but this is like what my family does. We mm-hmm. all get together for Thanksgiving. So I'm going to be gone for almost a yeah. week. It's, it sucks though, because you're like, can you just like for one day, Thanksgiving, can you all just stop being assholes? Your family? Yeah. And just hang out and just it's eat like, some why food. Why can't we all get along? Yeah. Yeah. Well, my family, we get along. We have a lot of fun together. We yeah. go around the table and say what we're thankful for. I want to go one year to your Thanksgiving. Come this year. <laughs> I'm already booked for Vegas. With some whore. You already – you already. I brought this up many times that I wanted to go. And now you're saying, oh, come – because I already booked my trip to Vegas. That's why I'm you're jealous inviting me now. that you're going with some girl to Vegas, I think. It's going to be fun. Uh, dude, I hooked up the – I hooked up the intern. She just got I know, back from Lauren's her birthday. I know, Lauren's 21st Lauren. birthday. Look how cute she is. Dude, I didn't even can, get to hear about it. Can we get her on the mic and share some stories? Because yeah. Because she was sharing some pretty interesting stuff. Do you want any, Laura? Come now, here. I have a, um, I have a buddy. I have a buddy in Las Vegas, and he's like the man. Like every Everyone time. who's watching, check out my adorable intern, <laughs> right. Lauren, who just turned 21 and went to okay, Vegas. Grab the microphone. Grab the mic. You're going to have to stand, if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, I have a buddy in Vegas that like, Hooks works everyone with up. all the nightclubs. So anytime You're any on. of my friends are going to Vegas, I tell them, talk to this guy. He'll hook you okay. up. So it's your 21st birthday. Happy yeah. birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. How'd it go? It went really well. It was so much fun. It was exactly like it should have been. Yeah. Tell me some highlights. Um, we'd basically gone to every club without waiting in line, without paying. I probably spent $100 the whole time. Oh, my God. No way. See, it must be so nice being a chick. Oh, yeah. Hot we'll chicks. A little bit closer. Sorry. Yeah. It was on... Like taxis doing food, right? Which we really didn't pay for because we ended up like finding these guys, and they ended up paying for us. Oh, God. <laughs> that's awesome! <laughs> that's what we do. We find the guys. So, did that's you meet true. any guys? No, they were all like thirty-five. Yeah, but it's 40. cool. They they can pay for all your yeah, meals and all fine. your drinks. That's fine. Totally yeah. gold diggers. God. Damn. Um, <laughs> no, we're just hot chicks who get stuff oh, paid for. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh yeah, honey, remember? you'll never be a hot chick, oh, no, and it's, it's just fun. you don't know what it's like. So, okay, what was the highlight? Um, creepiest few. line ever at Drake's birthday party at Tao, which we got into after one o'clock in the morning too, uh-huh. which I guess the doors closed, but, uh, he comes up to me and he's like, you think I haven't been watching you, but I have. Oh, and it was creepy. so creepy. And I was like, okay. And he's like, well, we're leaving right now. So if you want our table. And they were just pouring us Grey Goose like it was our table that we paid for. Oh, my God. Well, that's nice. Yeah. yeah it was but it was really a creepy nice. line. But you're like, really creepy. you're creepy, but I'll drink your vodka. Yeah. It was like, I could go to the table, but I'm like five feet away from Drake. Uh, <laughs> that's so Free funny. Alcohol. Free alcohol. Free alcohol is good. Yeah. So Dude, what? I, be, women love Drizzy Drake. Do you know? You don't know who Drake women is. Women love Drake. Love women Drake. love Drake. Who is it? He's a singer, actor. Oh, cool. But he's mostly rapper. Yeah. Yeah, I would say rapper. He was on Degrassi. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. So did you be so you so most guys were older. It is yeah. kind of an older thing in Vegas. His entourage was there and this guy had this like bedazzled necklace and chain. And you know that it was all real. Do you too. think that's do you think that's hot though? No. No. It's like gaudy. Yeah, but guys, they will rock that. Don't they, bedazzle. Yeah, they all they'll wear like three hundred thousand dollar chains. But I, I always thought, do women even think that's attractive? Nope. I mean the gold diggers. The gold diggers must in like brings them in like is it real like diamonds it's sign. real it is real no i don't find that attractive but i like little wayne wears like probably like two million dollars worth of jewelry holy moly at any time wow no did you find it attractive no but if i was a gold digger i'd be like target right there <laughs> right exactly yeah. you'd be like just give me one of those necklaces please so you're 21 now how does it feel oh i feel old did Which... you make out with one of your friends in vegas with my Oh, oh my god, she did! Yes. She made out with one she of her totally friends. She totally did. Oh no. my god. She paused. My my friend, like, we were like dancing and we ended up like just like um uh, you know, oh, so all the guys not? around loved it, but you know. Oh my god, you're so hot. So of course. Um, so you made out with your friend. Had you ever made out with her before? Oh we didn't make out, but Oh you just, just like, kissed. Yeah. Are you this packed? A little, a little 
That's good. Kiss. You got to do it. Yeah. Whatevs. Who doesn't do that? Yeah. Um, that's so fun. So, um, and you're 21 now and you can drink finally. I keep trying to take the interns out to drinks and I'm like, mm-hmm. Lauren's like, I-, I can't go. But now she can. Yeah. So exciting. So much it. wine in your life will be coming soon. I know. It's going to be <laughs> awesome. Yeah, Thank you so much. with wine last night. She was like, um, do you want to come watch like Hocus Pocus with me? Because I was taking it. I was like, not really. She's like, I'll bring the wine. And like, then you're like, I'll be okay. there. Oh, that's it's yes. exciting. I'm trying to remember back to how exciting that was. <laughs> I remember it was exciting. Turning it's exciting. Oh, today's Tuesday, right? Yeah. Guess what I ordered? What did I tell you yesterday? No, maybe. I specially ordered Justin Timberlake's uh, tequila, the 901. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah. For what? Because it's so hard fun? to buy it in the San Francisco. It's like not available. Oh, okay. There was one liquor store. That was listed on their website, and I went there to go buy it, and they didn't even know what the hell I was talking about. Oh, my God. You're, well, so, it just came out, right? No, it's been out for a couple of years. Oh, okay. So, whatever. I don't know what I'm talking about. You ordered it online? No, I went to a special... Oh, the one place that has yeah, it. Yeah. Can, can I have some? Uh, maybe, yeah. <laughs> I want some tequila. I want yeah. to make you that special drink again, but I can't remember how I did it. Which one? The, the, tequila, the tequila, the oh, margarita. The, yeah, it's good. I know. I remember how to make it. Okay, good. We're going to do that again. We need to drink more. Yes. Especially with Lauren being 21 now. We all need to drink I know. more. Well, I'm disappointed you didn't get laid, but it's cool that you made out with your friend. Yeah. That's cool that you kind of made out with your friend. No no dudes, though. No one. No dudes. No, that's fine. It's not at all that's about cool. the dudes. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm glad you had a great time. Thanks, Lauren. <laughs> I love it. I mean, I, I do love Las Vegas. I know. I know. I like it. I like it for two days. I don't like it for two. But yeah. I've had so many, like... I guess I've never had a major hookup in Vegas, but I've gone with boyfriends a lot to Vegas over the mm-hmm. years. We've had a blast, but like after two days, you're just like exhausted. You're just like, yeah, I'm just going two days in real quick, out, I'm done. It'll be fun. Yeah. But there's a lot of sex that goes on in Vegas. Like I know all um, my guy friends are like, yeah, I hooked up with a girl in the elevator and I mm-hmm. met a girl going up to my room and she just came yeah. with me. Like there's so much crazy yeah. sex going and on. And I'm staying at the Cosmopolitan, which is one of the n- newest fanciest hotel so oh, i'm really excited cool they spent like three billion dollars on the hotel every hotel they spend like a billion dollars on there yeah you gotta see this one this right. one like and you're bringing tr- the check this, this one like trumps dude offline i need to know who she is <laughs> why i just need to know i tell you everything so you're really gonna go to michigan I'm jealous are you really going to michigan yeah i'm really going to michigan i have to go i go who are you gonna make year? out with in michigan isn't well, there like I some wish, old potentials i wish there you know most of them are married but now some are divorced Oh, yeah. So maybe I could hook up with a divorcee. You don't want to do that. You want to tease them, though. Because yeah. you know what? You had your chance back then. Now you want to try to get with me now because I miss sex with Emily. Yeah. Yeah, you should totally, like, maybe get a free meal. Here There's there. this really f- – yeah, exactly. There's this really fun party that happens every Friday night after Thanksgiving, and everyone I've ever met in Michigan shows up. And mm-hmm. it's like we all go crazy and drink and party and stuff. But I've never hooked up in Michigan, not in years because, like I said, people are married or I just – I'm not interested. Mm-hmm. How long is the flight? Forever. <laughs> <laughs> five hours. Uh, That's why I don't go home that often. It's a five-hour flight, and there's yeah. only one airline that flies, so it's kind of a nightmare. And you don't go anywhere fun. I hang out with my family, my nieces. <laughs> That's cool. I'm obsessed with my nieces, so it'll be fun. We have got the results of our old poll in. Where is your favorite place to have a quickie? 3% said airplane. 4% elevator. 7% alleyway. 42% in the car. And 44% in the bathroom. In the bathroom. In, in the, the bathroom shower, with like in a bar. Shower. Yeah, the shower's oh, hot. Oh, okay. At a at, bar? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming when people say bathroom, yeah, it might be, it could be anywhere. Yeah. It could be at a bar. It could be like, at, you know, you're you're at a friend's house and you mm. at a party and you go up to the bathroom. Oh, I know bathrooms you could totally have sex with in, in San Francisco. In San Francisco, oh, yeah. right. There I are could, some amazing I can ones. tell you a perfect one right now. Okay. Okay. For visiting San Francisco, go up on the top of uh, Knob Hill on the, California. Top of the mark? Top, not top of the oh. mark, but it is the International Mark Hopkins. It is oh, that hotel. Okay. Walk in straight to the elevator, hit third floor, get off on the third floor, go all the way to the left, and you're going to hit a wall. To the right, there's going to be, be, be a bathroom there. It has a full door, and it's like a big room. And then there's like Have the you toilet. had sex in there? I haven't, but it's a perfect place to make it happen. Okay, good to know. There, it's a very empty space. So right. there you go. I hooked you up, people. Perfect. The W Hotel, you can – not the W. The Clift Hotel has some good bathrooms too. I once hooked up with a guy at the Clift Hotel in San Francisco. In the bathroom? In the bathroom. No way. Yeah. Is that bad? I yeah. was a little drunk. We had a first date and we hooked up. And what? then I never talked to him again. 
that I, I've told you. But now you this. we have all these mutual friends, and every time uh, I see him, I'm like, oh, he's talking about the fact that I hooked up with them in the bathroom, yeah, probably. Probably. I'm a whore. What can I say? <laughs> so on the top of uh, on the top of California Street, and I've told you this before. Uh, when you look down, you could see the Clift Hotel. Right. And for a while, the F went out, and I'm not even joking. What so do you what mean does the F went spell? out? So on the top, it's it's lit up, and it says oh. the Clift. Oh, it just said um, and the F went Clit? out. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Clit Hotel. When was that? This was. Uh, I want a picture of that. I'd say about five years. The ago. Clit Hotel. I bet you that reservations <laughs> would just go way up. Yeah. The Clit Hotel. Um, okay, we have a new poll. Okay. Let me tell you about it. How did you? Because yesterday's show was about cheating. So, mm-hmm. how did you find out you were being cheated on? A. Looking through their email or phone. B. Heard from a friend. C, caught them in bed with someone else, or D, I've never been cheated on, or at least that I know of. So go to our website and vote on that poll and let us know. We want to know about your cheating life. Have you been cheated on? Have you not? Have you not? Have you been cheated on? Have I? Um, can I say that I was being cheated on? I consider it maybe – there wasn't any like physical action going on. But it, there was definitely a transition from me to another person. Okay. It was so bad. Can I tell you the story? Sure. I'll try to get through it really quick. I apologize. Do. I'm really bad at getting through things quickly. Um, anyways, here I am uh, being a radio DJ at like one of the most popular morning shows out there, right? Right. I'm in love. I have a girlfriend. Totally cool, right? But I don't know why, but I decide I'm going to walk into this Old Navy I'm going to walk in the Old Navy, and I see this jacket I'm going to buy, and I, I'm i buying it. And then she sees this guy that she went to high school with who's working security at the Old Navy, right? Okay. They kind of talk. Well, I didn't know during this time when they were talking, like catching up, that they exchanged numbers. Okay. Right? Because I was trying, trying on my clothes. So she starts talking to this guy, and then eventually – um, she breaks up with me and gets, gets with the dude, Aww. right? But then that dude, like within like couple, like two weeks, was already like hooking up with other chicks while he was like seeing her. Oh my god, he's and a then, security guard at Olivia. Yeah, and then Olivia. she was trying to get back with me, but it ain't gonna happen. No, you don't. But just... let me tell you something weird about that jacket. Ever since I bought that jacket that day, every time. Every time I would put it on, something bad would happen to me. Oh, throw it away. Did you throw it away? So I threw it away. I used to keep it in my closet for a long time as a reminder. Right. You know, don't trust them hoes. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> don't trust them hoes, But jacket. on a cold day, I would try to put on the jacket. And, and then honestly, you got hit by a be, bus or something? Yeah, they're like something would happen. Like I would dent the car or something like that. Oh, my like God. That. So uh, there, there was times where I put on the jacket. I'm walking, and it's cold as F outside. And I'm like, wait a minute, I'm wearing this jacket. Something bad's going to happen. So I would go back inside and take the jacket off. And okay. Put it on. I'm glad you got rid of Weird it. Weird That's crazy. Yeah, but I no longer have it. Okay, good. I'm glad. Yeah. It's good to clear out. I've been doing that a lot lately, clearing out my closet, getting rid of stuff. It's good for you. Like cathartically, Cleansing. it clears the energy yeah. in, in your life and you get rid of clutter. I've been doing that yeah. too. But that means I need a bunch of new clothes too mm-hmm. because it's all gone now. Um, okay, we can get into some sex in the news. Okay, what do you got? All right, this is what I got for you. Kim okay. Kardashian. No skin. Uh, no, no, there's no, there's really no updates. Is Do you know a, why? What? Because she's gonna sell the story to like Us Weekly or something like For that. Like so a billion dollars. Yeah, so that's why everyone's like tight lipped about it. Really? Yeah. There's and nothing more power new to today. Her. Just make money off it. Who cares? She's making money off the wedding, off the divorce. Yeah. She's smart. It's all good. Oh God. Okay. A Zimbabwean claims prostitute turned into a donkey. <laughs> a Zimbabwean man found. Having sex with a donkey sensationally claimed the object of his affections was actually a prostitute who mysteriously metamorphosed into a hot piece of ass. According to this report, 28-year-old Sunday Moyo was cuffed after a cup of cups found him in the act in his yard, some 180 miles outside of um, Harare. He fessed up and explained, I only came to know that I was being intimate with a donkey when I got arrested. I had hired a prostitute and paid $20 for the service. I don't know how she then became a donkey. <laughs> the magistrate was unimpressed. He ordered him to remain in custody, in custody and examined by two psychiatrists. Um, maybe he was just taking some LSD. I was just going like, to say, what drugs was he on? He must have been tripping balls if he thinks that she mm-hmm. turned into a prostitute, turned into a donkey. Um, That's a bad excuse. 
I, I mean, I've had, I mean, I've definitely had some um, something Donkey. to drink, and then later on, they've turned into a dog. You know what I'm saying? Beer goggles. <laughs> it's called beer goggles. I don't have that anymore since I've had the LASIK surgery, though. What? I'm, remember, I tell you when I after I drink a lot, like my oh, eyesight, your eyesight was bad. becomes super sharp. No, right, it comes right. like the the highest highest oh. definition television you've ever seen before okay. in your life. I don't know what the hell happened, but after my LASIK surgery, uh, the more I drink, the sharper my eyesight gets. Okay, so you don't have the beer goggles. Search. I don't, and it's weird because it, it's like when I'm sitting at the bar and I'm looking at a girl. I can see the pores in her face and like the cracks oh in between God. her teeth, and I Crazy. get scared. Yeah, you get scared. <laughs> you get you're like you're like Bionic Man or something yeah. with your eyesight. That's they're, crazy. They're no longer hot to me. Okay, I talk about products all the time that will improve your sex life, and now I have to tell you about a product that has improved my sex life and changed my life. Seriously, not just sexually, but has extreme health benefits as well. Okay, have you ever been at the gym on the treadmill and thought, you know, it'd be great. If I could be eating pizza and exercising at the same time, or even, God, I wish these push-ups would at least give me an orgasm. Unfortunately, we rarely get to experience pleasure while maintaining our health and well-being until now. This product is one part genius health invention, one part vibrator, and it will strengthen your pelvic floor and give you an orgasm. Now, if you don't already, you should be doing your Kegel exercises. You hear me talking about the benefits of them all the time, but how many of us really do them? And even if we do them once in a while, like at stoplights or while you're waiting in line, how many of us are doing them correctly and seeing the benefits? Well, now there's a product that actually does your kegels for you and gives you mind-blowing orgasms at the same time. What if I told you there was a product that actually does your kegels for you and gives you mind-blowing orgasms at the same time? That's probably an exercise routine you'd remember to keep up with, right? Intensity is a revolutionary intimate health and stimulation device that takes all the confusion out of kegels. It may resemble the classic rabbit vibrator, but let me be clear, this is no ordinary sex toy. It's both a vibrator and a kegel exerciser. Intensity is the only device that combines pleasure with pelvic floor toning, giving you a workout you can actually look forward to. It perfectly targets your G-spot and clitoris while using gentle electrostimulation to contract your vaginal muscles. And... If the instant orgasms weren't enough, intensity can actually improve your overall sexual satisfaction. Intensity has been proven to tighten and tone your pelvic floor muscles, increasing the power and intensity of your orgasms and heightening intimate sensations for both you and your partner. Experts are calling the intensity the only intimate health product every woman needs. I felt the same way. If you want to know more about the intensity and how it can change your sex life, check out our latest Sex Toy Review podcast, Sex Toy Review Intense and Unplugged. To find out more about this orgasm game changer, visit pormoi.com. That's P-O-U-R-M-O-I.com. That's the intensity. Check it out. Okay. Erectile dysfunction and porn. All right. Porn is so readily, readily available now that it's hard to say no. According to Psychology Today, though, there's a very good reason to pull out erectile dysfunction. Research shows that being exposed to porn desensitizes men to the point where getting turned on by regular sex simply isn't exciting enough. Call it a new type of impotence, if you will, where men in the study as young as in their 20s found it normal to have erectile dysfunction during real sexual interactions, yet were still excited by the smorgasbord of internet porn. What actually happens inside the brain is a form of overdosing. overdosing. We get a dopamine spike from something wild stroking our switch, but the more we're exposed to it and the more intense the exposure, the harder time we're going to get aroused from normal sex scenes at home. You know, it's funny because I told you I was on Sirius Satellite Radio when I was in New York, and that was a question. A guy said to me, I can't ejaculate when I'm with a woman, I can, I, and I think I watch too much porn. Can I become desensitized? And I wasn't sure. I was like, you know, because I hate to pathologize things. I hate to say, yes, you have a problem. I mean, that's like, like about sex. Like everyone wants to know, am I normal? Is this okay? So I really don't want to say you have a problem. But this is a study that came out that says that you actually can be desensitized because you're watching this over-the-top women that you're so attracted to with big boobs or whatever turns you on, you get to watch it. And then when you're with your regular girl, you're like, eh, mm. something like that. No, but you, are you showing, you're showing the wing go down. He said he just couldn't ejaculate, right? Right. Or yeah, can't ejaculate yeah. because 
So maybe guys should start. No, nah, he probably masturbates too much. No, oh, right, watching porn. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe if guys are did he say issues, that he was masturbating a lot? Well, yeah, they're watching porn. So the guys who are watching porn so much have a problem uh, ejaculating. They become desensitized, and it's harder for them to have regular sexual functioning when they're with a woman. Maybe her vagina was too big. Maybe she got around. Where do you come from? <laughs> what? Maybe she was like – maybe he was with a whore. No. It was a study of and a lot of men. He wasn't sensitive enough oh for him. Oh, my god. Please. OK. I'm sorry. A classy lady. Sorry he wasn't with a classy lady. If you do your Kegel <laughs> exercises, your vagina is going to be just fine. <laughs> Kegel Camp is an app on the iPhone that you need to buy <laughs> that I made and it reminds you to do your Kegels. I can't wait for you to actually have the app when you get your iPhone. I'm getting my iPhone this week. I know. Will you help me do shit with it and set it up? Yeah. OK. Awesome. OK. Accidental nymphos. Accidental. Let, accidental nymphos. Let this be a warning to all you why, why, we fit users out there. A 24-year-old 24 24 year UK woman claimed that an injury called by her, caused by her we turned her into a raging nymphomaniac. Amanda Flowers was playing with her we fit one day when she fell off her board and pinched a nerve that triggered a disorder that doctors call persistent sexual arousal syndrome. Mm-hmm. After the accident, even the most minor of vibrations, like the one from her food processor, <laughs> caused a twinge down below that surged through her entire body, body and built into a trembling orgasm. That sounds kind of awesome. You want it. How did you get this injury? Oh, my God. Someone would be like, I have a blender on. I'd be like, mm. uh, 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 <laughs> like I, uh, I mean, I'm sure it sucks because oh, yeah. she can't I mean, after it. a while, it gets played out. Right. Okay. There's more of these. Beware trolley riders. In San Francisco in 1964, Gloria Sykes was injured after the cable car she was riding on malfunctioned and careened down a hill. Oh, no. After the incident, she filed a $500,000 lawsuit against the city claiming that the accident had triggered a demonic sex urge, causing her to have sex with over 100 men, as many as 50 in one week. She (laughs) ended up winning the case even though the public opinion was a time that it was bogus. Oh, man. Oh, my God. These are accidental nymphos. It's so funny. Here's another one. 2005, Heather suffered a massive brain hemorrhage while gardening. When she recovered, she was not expected to, which she was not expected to. Mm-hmm. She was a changed woman. She was a nymphomaniac. I woke up in a hospital and was just consumed by the need to have sex all the time. I'm not the sort of person who propositions men in the street and invites them home for sex, she said, even though she cheated on her husband with more than 50 men. He has chosen to stick by her, understanding that her urges are out of control. I yeah, want that man as a husband. I wanna, I'm sorry, I, honey. I had to bone 50 men. Yeah. Couldn't help it. That's just, I was at gardening. I was pulling weeds. And next thing you know, I'm boning 50 mm-hmm. guys. I have nothing bad to say about that because it was a, it's a medical thing. Can't do it. It's a medical thing. It's, just a na- it's not a natural, you know, cheating horror thing. No, right. Totally. Yeah. It's like she has to do it. So that's what I got for Sex and the News. Unless we got anything else from your life. <sighs> Anything else in my life? No. Oh, I'm going to Disneyland this weekend. Why? How? My buddies. I'm going with my buddies. They uh, just for fun. Well, they work. They work for uh, a division of Disney, so they get to take. They get to take them plus four people for free whenever they want. Like each employee, so it could, it's gonna be like fifteen people. Fun. Are yeah. you driving down? Yeah. Oh, I love Disneyland. Yeah. I'll go. I can't. There's I'm no busy. Room. <laughs> Before you rejected me, I already pulled out. Okay, good. Okay, good. I already checked. There's no room, though. You checked for me. You well, got like a full-on girlfriend now that you're taking to Vegas. I don't and you're silent. have a girlfriend. <sighs> it's so Jesus exhausting. Christ. It's so exhausting. You always um, try to pin me down saying that I have a girlfriend. I don't. Well, who are you taking to Vegas? What's the hell? Well, it doesn't matter. I'll tell you when it's like around that time. Okay, got it. Um, okay. We who are you a- hanging out with? Nobody. I'm mm-hmm. clean slated right now, and I'm going to start dating online. I'm going to start getting fixed up. I'm going to ask oh, a guy out. Did you check into the dating on demand? That no, I... we posted some on the website, though. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Dating on demand. Just a recap from yesterday. Recap. Uh, for some reason, it popped into my head, and I haven't thought about it in years, but there's a thing called dating on demand. It's on Comcast Cable, and people go to events like a bar, and they say, oh, we're taping dating on demand videos. So Emily would like, you know, sit in front of the camera, talk about herself and how wonderful she is. And then somebody at home would go to Dating on Demand and they would see Emily on the TV and there would be a number. And then you go to the website and that's how you can uh, contact it. I'm going to do everything to find a date now. All right. Okay. 
topics. These are some emails that you sent me to feedback at sexwithemily.com or you emailed me through my website, sexwithemily.com. However you do it, just send me your questions. Dear Emily, I heard that women are able to ejaculate. Have any tips to get a woman so wet? My wife and I have tried a lot but haven't been able to make it happen. Please help Dennis from Delaware. Um, okay, here's the deal. You can teach a woman how to ejaculate. Um, there's been lots of studies. We've had guests on the show have talked about it. Um, it's usually through the PC muscles. Some women can ejaculate fluid when they orgasm, giving them great pleasure. Stimulating her G-spot with your hands is a good way to make her ejaculate. So start with your hands and work her G-spot. Don't try to do it during when you, when you want to start. It has to be with your hands. She'll have to relax deeply in order to release the fluid. A woman's ejaculate is expelled from the urethra, the same place where urine comes out. And, and although studies have found that the clear liquid is not urine at all, it's the urine. juice it's not. The juice is released from the spleen's glands or urethral sponge. If your girl doesn't have complete control of her PC muscles, there's a chance she might actually pee. It's pee pee. This is another reason to do your Kegel exercises. Download Kegel Camp on your iPhone right now. And all throughout the day, it's my voice leading you. You can do it three times a day. You'll do your kegels. You will be able to ejaculate. It's a golden shower. Okay. But be cool if it doesn't happen. Um, it's normal for her to feel as though she's about to urinate when she's about to ejaculate. So it's just like orgasm. Sometimes you feel like you're about to ejaculate. You feel like you're about to urinate, but really you're about to have an orgasm. So anyway, G-Spot, play with your fingers, play with your G-Spot, and she will be able to ejaculate. It might it's, not happen the first time, but you should play with it. You it's yellow it lava. It is not yellow lava. Dude, it is real. I've ejaculated. How was that for you? It's awesome. In what position were you in? Um, I was having sex. <laughs> oh, okay. Good. And with my vibrator, I can um, ejaculate. All right. It's weird. It's awesome. It's weird how you answered that question. I go, Why? what position were you in? And then you're like, I, I was having sex. I think I was on the bottom of the top. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that narrows it down. 50-50. Okay. Um, hi, Emily and Menace. I'm a 30-year-old divorced mom, and I've been dating a guy for almost three months, and things have been going pretty good. He recently called because he wanted to see me and in the same breath asked if I had $20 for gas. Hell yeah, winner. This was a bright red flag for me and has <laughs> made me take a step back. When did men start asking women for money, especially if he has only been dating her for two to three months? Am I overthinking this? Michelle from Baltimore, Maryland. Two to three no. months? No. Michelle, here's the deal. I don't know, like, was it, did he forget his bank card at home? Or was he like, it's time in the relationship for you to step up and give me 20 bucks? Like, I can understand if he was like, oh my God, babe, so sorry, I left my wallet at home. Can you, can you lend me 20 bucks? But if he just called and said, I need 20 bucks for gas if I'm going to take you out tonight, that is a red flag. I think that's just not cool. Well, I don't borrow money from my friends. Why would you borrow money from some woman you're just dating? Like, it's your car. I think that's a red flag and I, I would be annoyed unless he said I left my wallet at home or I'm waiting for a bank check to clear. But even if that's true and you can't get your hand on 20 bucks, I think that's lame. It's like that email we had a few months ago from the guy who was like, can you bring over some wine on our first date? You know, can you bring over two bottles mm -hmm. of wine? Like, dude, pay for your own gas. Um, I think two to three months. I don't know when men start. I, I've never had a guy ask me for money. I don't think that's cool. And you're not overthinking it. What do you think, Menace? Um, yeah, I think the relationship has to go a little bit longer than that before you start evening, evening the playing field a little bit. Um, that's the only really traditional thing about me too, is I, I try to pay for as much things as I can right. to a certain point. But if we are been together and hanging out for quite a long time, then yeah, you got to start, you got to start chipping in here and there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I always do chip in, but like asking me twenty dollars to guess is red. Yeah, you chip in by cooking all those dinners, right? Yeah, clean the I'm house. I'm learning to cook. <laughs> My friend Adina is a chef, and she's actually going to teach me how to cook. I'm a better chef than your friend. I can teach you how to she's cook. She's a gourmet chef, and she cooks for the stars. And she wrote a book about it. Whatever. Well, you've never offered to I'd... cook for me. You've never even invited me to your apartment. Yeah, I don't want to have you over there. You've come to my apartment. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I'll cook you something. I'll cook you something delicious. Do you like pizza? I'll cook I love you pizza. D delicious pizza. Okay, although I've been gluten free lately. Oh God, you're such a hippie. It helps with clarity and focus. Does it? Look how focused and clear I am. You're not very focused today. I mean, you're better than normal. You're a little off a little 
more than – but you have been really focused lately. Gluten. Gluten. Free. Why today am I not focused? I don't know. What, in which part of this show have I not been focused? I have to rewind it. I'd have to rewind it. I disagree. It. Okay. I'm on message. You're on message? I'm going. I'm moving. I'm going through the motions. You are not – I'm very focused today. Okay. Laser beam. Okay, I'm let's sorry go. that you got so offended right now. Well, because you're like, today you're not focused. Not as focused as you have I been. did have some crackers last night that were not gluten-free. See? Now you're unfocused. I know. I honestly <laughs> think that that's why I'm doing it. I'm not doing it to lose weight. I'm not doing it for anything else. It's like I'm avoiding gluten, which is like – breads and wheat and all that stuff because my friend's been doing it and she said it made her super clear and focused and my biggest challenge in life is clarity and focus so how does that even work i just eat stuff like bananas for breakfast and eggs instead of like a scone in the morning like i used to always get this muffin every morning love that muffin i love the muffin (laughs) no i miss it like every day i want the muffin but now i'm just in the habit of not and that's what happens and clarity and focus and that's what i need okay Let's get into the bucket list. This is our topic for today. Everyone has a life bucket list in some form. Things they want to accomplish in their lives. Why not do the same for your sex life? So there's a book called The Naughty Sex Bucket List, and it has done most of the heavy lifting for you and come with a collection of 369 sexy dares to do before you die. This ultimate list of sexy suggestions dares you to break from your mundane routine and experience new thrills of the bedroom. So we're going to go through some of them today. Here's the book if you want to check it out. It's the Naughty Bucket List. Can you see it on camera? I got to move it back. Naughty Bucket yeah, List. Yeah, can see it. It's by Courtney Jason. Okay, so here's some things that came up in the in – the, so we're just going to okay. discuss them. What, why the eye look? Oh, no. I was, I I was just trying to see the uh, – I was trying to see the cover a little bit more. Because mm. I, I was interested. I'm like, I never heard of somebody having the last name Jason. That's all. Oh, okay. Got it. So um, some naughty bucket list things that we pulled out. Wet t-shirt contest. Do you think it's degrading or liberating? Do I think it's degrading or liberating? Uh, I'm, not like really, I'm not really interested in the wet t-shirt contest. No. I don't care about that kind of stuff. I almost did a wet t-shirt contest once in really? spring break in, mm-hmm. in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, a long time ago in high school, <laughs> and I actually ended up doing the tanning contest and said, and I won. I was the most tan, but I've never done a wet t-shirt contest. Where are these tanning photos? Oh, gonna... I should post some pictures from when I was 18. I was doing a red bikini, and I was the tannest. No way. Yeah, and at the time, that was a really big accomplishment. <laughs> Especially in Florida. I think I've peaked there, and I hope I've accomplished things since then. Okay, another thing, naughty bucket list, have a friends with benefits. This is a growing trend, but you, of course, I I mean, I went through a a series of time where I was getting tons of emails about friends with benefits, which is basically when you're not committed, you're Mm -hmm. friends, you're sleeping together, and you're also sleeping with other people, which can be tricky because oftentimes one person wants more than the other one. But this is something else on the bucket list, uh, friends with benefits. And we've both had that, right, Menace? You've had a friends with benefits. Oh yeah, of course. That's You're like, pretty I much all you have. That's pretty much all my relationships. I know all mine too. I realize it. Like lately, like most of my relationships are friends with benefits. Okay, another one: sex in the rain. Do you think this is wildly romantic or just slippery when wet? I think that's cool. I think so too. I, I'm looking at a lot of these in here already, and they're they're actually some pretty cool ideas like that I never even seeing? thought of. Um, you know, sex on the bleachers. Never did that, but you know that was a big thing that people would talk about in high school. And there, you only see—I mean, when you go out in the burbs outside of San Francisco, you always see empty bleachers somewhere. Yeah, where you can just do that. Just sign, check it off. I did that once, and um, after I graduated, I was back in Michigan. And I was hooking up mm-hmm. with some guy, and the cops came. I was at my high school mm-hmm. bleachers, and we were having sex or about to have sex, and the cops came and kicked me out. Really? Really? Oh, it has a rotating bed. I don't even know where to find a rotating bed. Like in Vegas probably. Probably in Vegas. Uh, okay. The famous landmark. is weird. Uh, for the famous landmark, uh, for some reason, <laughs> I know this is kind of cheesy. I don't know why. But I uh, I went up 
to um, what is the thing here? Uh, Koi Tower. Koi Tower. Koi Tower in San Francisco. It's a lighthouse that's on top of a hill right. here. And I went up there with a girl once, but I didn't kiss the girl. And I've always wanted to kiss a girl up there at the light tower. Yeah, I've never done. That I didn't either. even think about like full on boning, but just like maybe just kissing. A yeah, girl. like a landmark, and yeah. there they have the Eiffel Tower. Have you had sex at a landmark that you can think of? <sighs> it's hard to remember. I don't think so. No landmarks. I think no. That's weak. I would expect you to like, you know. Cause I wish. You've traveled the world. It would be mean, like somewhere in Rome I've in had front sex, of the <laughs> Right, exactly. Yeah. In the Coliseum or something. I yeah. I've had sex no, no I think when, when I was traveling through Asia I had sex in a lot of random places, but I don't think any landmarks. Have you had the walk of shame? Yes. So the walk of shame is the best post Halloween morning show to watch, I think. Um, I have done the walk of shame many times. I've gone to my coffee shop in the morning in full on black, black, black tie outfit, like, uh, like nice formal gown mm-hmm. because I was coming off from a guy's house. And every morning I go to the same coffee shop and one morning I showed up with like a short black mini dress and heels and I've done it. <laughs> They're all like, Hey, like hey. you're all dressed up, but like yeah. makeup smeared down my face. I've done the walk of shame. Um, I'm sorry. I'm I'm just looking out of the book. Good, go. I know you have a schedule. No, this, I. This is the one I like, and you never, you never support it. What? Scheduled sex. I totally support it. No, you, for couples. Like it's schedule. You're like, oh, you don't have to get on schedule. It has no, to be more you do. spontaneous. Kids with couple, kids with babies. No, but let's say forget the babies and all okay. that stuff, and you're married. Forget all that. Just schedule the time because the anticipation. Right, and all day awesome. long you're yeah. like flirting, like I can't wait to get your penis in my mouth kind yeah. of thing. Right. So that's good. Uh, have sex with a cowboy. Not going to happen for me, have but I how about that? you? <laughs> I've had sex with men with cowboy tendencies, but not an actual cowboy. Uh, let's see what we got here. A washer? Have you had sex on a washer? Mm, yes, in my house. I don't remember if I've had. I don't that's think actually so. a page in my book, have to, having sex on a really? washer and dryer. Uh-huh. Given a hickey. I've not given a hickey, but I've received hickeys. I have done that on purpose to be an asshole. Uh, you do it to be an asshole? Yeah, but this is one back when I was like 20 something oh. years old. Uh, oh, here, here we go. Topical. Thanksgiving Day sex. Yeah, I've had Thanksgiving. In fact, mm-hmm. in, in Michigan, the last few years, um, I actually did hook up with my ex. Who's also from Michigan, but he lives mm-hmm. in L.A. and he happened to be in, home for Thanksgiving. Is he L.A. guy? Yeah, L.A. guy. Is from Michigan. Yeah, you never told me this. Oh yeah, he's from Michigan. So you have to get married with L.A. guy. So we would, when my parents went to bed, we would he'd come over and we'd have sex like two years in a row after Thanksgiving dinner in my mom's house. <laughs> wow, you're classy. I'm a classy neighbor. Have, have you had sex with a neighbor? N- in college, but mm-hmm. not. No, 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 I haven't. That's tricky. Then you got to see him when you're walking past him. Yeah, I was dating a neighbor. Um, we met, and this is the girl that I met at the laundromat that I always think about all the time. Oh. I like her. She's really cool. But uh, just not for me. Disco ball. What is this? When you have sex while reflecting lights of a disco ball are surrounding you. Yeah, I've done that. You have? I mean, there's been... Di- I have friends who have You've disco You've been in life. cheesy guys' houses where they have disco balls? Yeah. Going? You hang out with the cheesiest guys. No, I, I did date a guy who had a disco ball in his room and we had sex. I just see you always dating the yoga guy, the disco ball guy... The BMW slick back hair guy. Dude, like, you've never typical, had anyone like, I've ever all dated. cheesy guys. It's You're terrible. so wrong. How am I wrong? Dude, you because don't Because every time I mention a guy like this, they're like, oh, yeah, I dated a guy like that. Well, I've just dated a lot of guys. <laughs> Let's just say I've done my work. All right. What do you got? Do you got anything on the list? I've got some more. I've got um, magic eight ball sex. Let the magic eight ball decide your courses on tonight's sexual menu. Okay. Like if it says go for it or mm-hmm. not tonight, let the magic eight ball do it. Uh, they have DJ booth in here uh-huh. and um, I wasn't having sex, but I was making out with this girl while her, her friend was having sex with my buddy in the DJ booth while our other friend was DJing. Oh, okay. So you've had sex in DJ booth essentially. No, I've made out, but I, I was you making out when there was people having sex. 
Okay. I don't think I've had sex with DJ Booth. How about in your childhood room? Would you reenact those teenage fantasies? I have had sex in my childhood. My too. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. At a hospital? (laughs) No. No. I'm too weirded out. Like, ever since I've seen that movie Contagion, everybody... I am freaked out by germs. Really? Yes. Yeah. Don't I'm never in a it. hospital. Usually you're at a hospital because someone's sick. Mm-hmm. Have you had sex with a bartender? You know what? I don't think I have. I have. I have. Sorry. In college, one of my boyfriends was a bartender. Really? Um, but Actually, was, two bartenders. Yeah, I did in college. Mm-hmm. But does that count? Yeah, totally counts in college. He was a bartender. I was a waitress. I was a cocktail waitress. He was yeah, a bartender. Yeah, but you worked together. That's co-worker. I'm just – it can't be co-worker. Like did I ever go into a bar, order a drink and pick up the bartender and take him home? Yeah. Or, no. Uh, no. No. But that seems like a fun thing to do. Mm-hmm. But bartenders just seem like they sleep with everybody, don't well, they? Yeah, yeah, they do. So that wouldn't feel very like I like ooh got the bartender. It's like mm-hmm. how hard was that? Like he slept with ten girls yeah. this week. But no bartender. I would feel kind of sleazy. Well, I don't. I don't worry about chicks because usually bartender chicks they're super bitchy and it's hard to get them to like you. Because so many guys are hitting on them yeah. all day long. So they're like swatting yeah. at you. So you do get a trophy if you sleep with a a girl bartender, girl or a female bartender. bartender. April Fool's Day sex. And what you Have pretend you, ever, that you, you pull the prank and then end up having sex with somebody? Nope, no. never done that. VIP room, of course you've had sex in the VIP room. You? Yeah, I've had sex in the VIP area. I've been in so many VIP rooms, but I've yet to ever have sex in a really? VIP room because I just it's just not on my mind. Um, how about a celebrity look alike? Who's on your celebrity to do list? Have you ever dated anyone who looks like a celebrity? Uh, yes, but not. Um, not uh, had sex with them. Okay. Um, sex toys. Toys make every day better as a kid. Find out why you'll love them as an adult. Oh, God. You've Here not you are used promoting all the time. I love sex toys. Uh oh, this is what you got to do. Um, have sex with an intern. You might have to have sex They're with an intern. They're all girls, pretty much, sketch. except for one of them, and he has a, girl, and he has a boyfriend. Although Lauren <laughs> makes out with her friends, so I don't know. Yeah, you got to check it off the list, dude. Sex with an intern? No, I've had sex with someone who works for me, but not an intern. <laughs> I um, uh, sex with a surfer. Yep, I have not a lot. New Year's Eve sex. Now that is always tricky because for a girl, New Year's Eve, like for some reason, is like almost bigger than Christmas. Yeah, like, I'm there's not so a big... much expe- expectation right. for a girl on New Year's Eve for it to be a perfect, awesome night. And so much pressure on a guy to make that happen. I know. And usually, you know, it's hard because you can't. She can't get too drunk, and then you know she's walking around barefoot in the city and crying in her in her right, dress her because that happens eighty percent of the time. Yeah. And then so you got to find this equal level. And um, yeah. I mean, I've definitely ha- had sex on New Year's Eve, but it, there wasn't. It wasn't any, fun. It wasn't like an amazing thing. Um. <sighs> Um, I've got flashlight sex. When the power go out, goes out, goes out, get it on in your own spotlight. Uh, how about in the mud? Hell no. In the mud, no. In, I the, would, in the snow. Not even for me, but I will just be afraid to get mud in her vagina. Right. Mud in the vagina is not good, <laughs> so don't do that. On a rocking chair. Um, sounds familiar, but yeah. maybe not. I uh, wish I documented everyone I've slept with. In our, you should have. I know, because then I could be like, I could have it sorted by where we were, who it was, and then you could ask me these questions. It could be an Excel spreadsheet. I'd be like, yes, bartender, you know, whatever. Oh, uh, Ferris wheel. Oh, no. no, but I made out on a Ferris wheel. I made, everybody makes out on a Ferris wheel. Oh, That's whatever. Like, in a tent. Yes, I've had sex in a tent. I haven't had sex in a tent. Have you ever gone camping? Yeah, I used to go camping all the time when I was a kid. Now that's why I want to stay at the W Hotel oh. all the time because I'm burnt out on it. Oh, no, no, I've had sex in tents. <laughs> I love having sex outdoors. I just want to keep on reading this book. Can we go a little bit longer yeah. or you got to go? Yeah, I, I, no. I'm hungry, but keep going. <laughs> I love this. At a car wash? Oh, that would be awesome. Oh, when we're going through? Yeah, I mean that's pretty quick, but why not, dude? That's good. I like that one. You got like five seconds though. I have friends that own car washes. Maybe they can slow down the – Slow it down yeah. so your car gets really clean. <laughs> yeah. President, President's Day sex? Who cares? Um – all right, it's a dryer. Sorry, I really like this book. Honey, you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hotel room balcony. 
Yes, I've done that. Really? On the balcony, like leaning over, and he was from behind. Why would you do that? Wouldn't you be afraid of people? We're on the top floor. I've done it several times. Twice, several times. (laughs) Wow. Skype sex. No. No, I've never done that. Somebody will hack my Wi-Fi. I will not do it. I will not do Skype sex. (laughs) In a basement. Yes. Yes. (laughs) In a basement. Dude, I've had sex. Oh, my God. I don't even want to tell you where the basement was. I'll tell you off the air. Because off I'm so air. Um, married sex? No. Nope. Hasn't happened for either of us. Doesn't happen to married people either. <laughs> True love sex? Yes. I have actually had that. Emily, unfortunately, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Beanbag chair. I'm sure I have. Yeah. I mean, I feel like all this is like... But what? this is a good book. I know. You should put a red mark next to the I book. I know. And then you should eBay it. So I should. Somebody could figure out which ones you've done. In a closet? Yes. Yes. Um, I don't want to read that one. What? Read it now. Childhood crush. Yes. Yes. A guy who I was always in love with. We finally boned. Yes. I. Uh, and that's good. That's it feels good when yeah, you do that. you're like I mean, it, you know, <laughs> got you. Yeah, and it doesn't you don't ever have to have sex with them ever again. No, no, you no, no, but you're like I fantasized once. about yeah. you for years. Drunk sex. Never drunk done it, sex? but I want to try it. Menace. That's all menace has <laughs> had is drunk sex. Uh whipped cream? No. Yes. Cares. It's dirty. It's nasty. I'm afraid of getting don't the sheets. Don't put it in the dirty. vagina. Don't put it in the vagina. Never put anything sugary <laughs> in the vagina. Uh morning, some of my favorite. Uh in a limo. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, frat house, not yes. me. You? Yeah, for sure in a frat house. I was not, a sorority girl. Not in. A, I had sex in a frat house, and like he had the like, roommates in his room. It was like not one of my finer moments. Uh, Google sex. Oh, this is interesting. Google uh, Google sex in phrases and see what pops up, and then do it. I kind of like that. That's like my book, 200 page things you could try tonight. You've got to flip open to one page and try it. Okay, we got to wrap up, Honey Bunny. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, I'm we having can do too some, much well, fun. Let's do it more tomorrow, but but we got to go. <sighs> okay, let me just do one more, and it better be good. Okay. Uh, roadside. On the side of the... Because you're... See, I'm all about the uh, receiving fellatio while driving, and you're like, no, you got to pull over. It's well, not it's safe. just not that safe. But I've done it, but it's not that roadhead, not that yeah. safe. Weak. Anyways, I like this book. It's naughty, the naughty bucket list. I know. I think you should take it and do some things with should it. Should I? Yeah. Okay, everyone, thanks so much for listening to Sex with Emily. I hope you all have fun with your naughty bucket list. Uh, was it good for you? Email me, feedback at sexwithemily.com. Uh, we're going to talk about our sponsor, uh, Emily and Tony, which is actually my candles uh, that I make. I have a brand called Emily and Tony. You go to emilyandtony.com. And if you've never heard of a massage candle or used one, you're going to want one because it is – I made it so you'll have better sex and it'll spice your sex life. Because it smells good and it's fun to use. Have you had fun using it? Uh, me – Personally, oh, he doesn't massage. It's okay. I mean, I don't massage. You like the down under comfort. I love the down under un, the down under comfort. It is awesome. That's for your balls. But I use the candle all the time. Yeah. Um, but you just know, not for as the massage. house, right? Just not as massage candles. But my coworkers, which remember, I don't know yep. if you remember this, gave me a bunch to give my coworkers, and they absolutely love it. I love it. Okay, that's good. So mm-hmm. basically, it's a massage. It's a candle. Look, it's a beautiful candle made in France. It's made of amazing ingredients. If you care about that stuff, aromatherapy gets you in the mood. But what happens is you light it, you blow it out, and it turns into warm sexy, sensual, luxurious yeah, massage that's, oil. that's fun to play with on And it's hands. not, yeah. It's like, I put it on at night. People are like, oh, I have no one to massage. I'm like, I give massage myself yourself. a hand massage <laughs> yeah. every night. I blow it out and it's not like, it's not this kind of like, you know, like a lot of massage oils you get like all over your clothes and your bed. You got to change sheets. It's sticky. This stuff is just warm. It sticks to your skin, not anywhere else, and you'll love it. So check out emilyandtony.com. Use code SEXWITHEMILY for 20% off your first order. That's emilyandtony.com. Check it. You'll love it. Just, just saying you want to spice up your sex life. <laughs>